So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Atmosphere. Can you tell any differences between these two? This colorway is nice. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a comparison between two pairs of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Atmosphere. And as you can tell, there's quite a few differences. But before we get into the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Legitmark. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. They have this pair on the platform, so if you're still struggling to tell the differences after this video, there's a link in the description for you to check them out and get your pair authenticated. So the retail pair, as you can probably tell, is on my right side and the fake pair is on my left. And the telltale difference straight away, they got the box wrong. This is an early batch, so they did actually get the box wrong, but I think they have now updated it to this box, so just be careful for that. But straight away, they've gone for the classic red and black box when you can see it's almost like a navy and a light atmosphere pink kind of color which matches the shoes inside. But straight away, there is differences. And now I'll spin them around and we'll take a closer look at the labels. So as you can see by the labels, they've got this completely wrong. This is a women's colorway. So obviously it says women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And on the fake one, it just says Air Jordan 1 High OG. These are both a UK 9, but obviously this is a women's size, so it has the US in the women's size 11.5, whereas the fake one has this based on a US 10. Also, the color code is completely wrong. On the retail one, it says Atmosphere Obsidian White, whereas on the fake one, it says Black Pink Toe. So they don't have any of the details correct on the box label itself. But like I've said many times, nobody really wants to check out the boxes for the entire video. So open it up and look directly at the shoes themselves. So here's the retail one. The paper comes with the Jordan branding on the top with also the Jordan logo. So just look closely at that. Let's see if the fake one has it. No, the fake one just has plain white paper. So there's a clear difference between the two. The retail one should always come with this Jordan branded paper on the top just for this colorway. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Atmosphere. Can you tell any differences between these two? This colorway is nice. So here we have the two pairs side by side. The retail one is still on my right, the fake one's on my left. And just to let you know, there's quite a few differences between these two pairs that you're gonna look for throughout this video. So the first difference I'm gonna take a look at starts on the right shoe. And if you look here, it does come with a Nike Air hang tag, which is in that atmosphere pink once again, whereas the fake one didn't come with this and it isn't in the entire box at all. There is no hang tag provided with the fake shoes. And as you can see, on the right shoe, the fake ones come with the spare laces with the white and pink laces attached to the right shoe. This doesn't occur on the retail pair. On the retail one, they're attached to the left shoe. So just look out for that. It should always be on the left shoe on the retail pair. The accessories on this one are attached to the right one on the fake one. The next difference I'm gonna show you is the actual toe box shape. There's a clear difference between the retail and fake. If I show you from above, you can see that clear difference in shape. The retail one curves perfectly around the toe, whereas on the fake one, you can see it has that more flat shape towards the end of the toe box, giving it a more square box-like look. Talking about shape, if we spin the shoes around to the back, you can see a clear difference in the actual shape from the heel. The retail one has that classic hourglass shape, whereas the fake one just doesn't have it. And it's a common occurrence on fakes, just not having the classic hourglass shape on the back of a Jordan 1. Spinning the shoe to the side and taking a closer look at the Air Jordan Wings logo on the side, you can see differences here once again. The size and positioning is very different from retail to fake. So if you look at the close up here, you can see the Air Jordan Wings logo. On the retail one, it's much lower and much smaller in size. Comparing the two TMs on the right hand side of this, you can see the size difference is quite great. Another key difference that can be noted from close up, and I'll show you this here, is the actual stitching around the side of the shoe. Here you can see the stitching color is actually different between the retail and fake. On the fake one, the stitching is a much darker pink compared to the retail one, and this is quite clear to see in studio lighting. Another weird thing I've actually noticed during this video is the retail one comes dead stock laced with one lace through the bottom here, whereas the fake one, they've half laced it. I don't really know why they've done that. So if your pair is dead stock and come just like this, I don't really know why they've done that, but that's not how it should come. It should come like this. Taking a look at the right shoe now, and we take a look at that bubblegum print on the bottom. 
you can see clear differences here as well. The shape and color of it is different from retail to fake. On the fake one, it's a lighter pink than it is on the retail one. The retail one's a slightly darker color and also the shape is completely different. Now, if I pull the tongue back and take a closer look at the inside of the shoe, we can see the fake ones come with a little cardboard shoe tree like this, which doesn't occur on the retail one. So it comes with this, shouldn't do. Also, if we take out the actual cardboard shoe tree from each shoe, we can see differences here. So in terms of sizing, the fake one is much larger than the retail one. And remember, these are both a UK nine, so these should be the same size. And if we look on the inside of them, we can see on the retail one, it says die cut sock liner, whereas on the fake one, there's no text to be seen. Now, if I show you the accessories that come with the shoe and show you the spare laces, we can see color differences here from the close-up. On the retail one, the pink laces match that of the upper of the shoe, whereas on the fake one, you can see they've got the color of pink laces incorrect. It's a much darker pink compared to the retail one, which actually matches the upper. In terms of the white laces, there is actually a slight color difference as well. I would say the fake ones have got a more pure white compared to the retail ones, which have a slight hint of yellow to them. Just look out for this. The fake ones, I would say, the white is actually quite a nice color, but it's different to the retail ones. On the underside of the tongue, you can see where it has the Nike Air label on the back. We can look at the text here and see differences between retail and fake. If you look at the retail one, you can see where it says made in China is above the stitching part of this label. Whereas if you look at the fake one, you can see the text gets cut off by the stitching going across the label. So as you can tell from this video, there's still a few differences to note if you are trying to authenticate a real pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Atmosphere and an early batch of the fake ones. Just look out for the differences that I've pointed out in this video. And if you are still struggling to tell the difference between a retail and fake, Legit Mark's here to help you. So there's a link in the description for you to check them out. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you in some way. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. It helps me do videos just like this. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.